Fire has cut a path of destruction right through the lives of a northeast side couple. It damaged their cars, their home, and a lot of what was in it. The fire broke around 530 this morning on this downtown on on Thistledown, a street not far from Thousand Oaks and Nacogdoches Road. Katrina Weber tells us why it took more than two dozen fire crews to knock this fire down. There were so many firefighters, but so little time if they were going to stop a fire from burning through this whole northeast side street. Flames already had barged through the roof of a garage and into the home attached in the 12,600 block of Thistledown. They called in extra units for backup. Mainly as a precautionary because of the proximity of the houses to each other on this street being close together. On the outside looking in was Amalia Farina watching as everything she owned was on the line. That was what was worrying me the most, losing those uh, pictures of the, the kids when they were babies. She and her husband had escaped along with their pets, but not much else. Burned my arm hair and, and, my, and the top of my head, but other than that, you know, we got out safe. Joaquin Pagan woke up to what sounded like an explosion, most likely tires popping in and near the garage. The cars were outside. I, my motorcycle that got delivered yesterday was in the garage. He was able to laugh through the pain of loss, but for a while, no one was sure how much loss there would be. It's been a really stubborn fire. It's gotten in between the floors and the walls. From this angle, you can clearly see the path the fire took, how it started in the garage, causing the most damage there, and then spread up to the second floor of the house. Eventually, firefighters got the upper hand and got a hand on some of Farina's most prized possessions, those family photos which she feared had been lost. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News. Now, if that couple looks familiar to you, there's a really good reason for it. During the Christmas season, Amalia and her husband are none other than San Antonio's Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus. They travel all throughout the area, handing out toys and gifts to those in need, spreading Christmas cheer everywhere they go. This was a visit they made to the children affected by the Sutherland Springs church shooting this past December. It appears again that the couple lost just about everything in the fire, but they say they are so thankful they're alive.